Now it is time to introduce another speaker whose background is not in health. Uh, but, but that shouldn't surprise us if we take into consideration that most of the factors that affect health are actually outside the health sector. And uh, the next topic will be cooperative insurance as a foundation for sustainable health care. And this will be presented by Lisbeth van der Kraut. Uh, Lisbeth joined Euroca Acmea in 2007. She started as Director of Group Communications and Brand Management. And as of 2010, Lisbeth is Acmea's Director of Group Corporate Social Responsibility. After her studies in economics at the University of Groningen, Lisbeth has worked for 25 years as a journalist for newspapers, television, and especially for radio. She co-presented Network, a daily current affairs TV program, and from 1999 till 2007, she was the high-profile radio anchor woman for, of KRU, CRU, the Dutch Catholic Broadcasting. <laughs> <laughs> Lisbeth, may I invite you to take the floor for your presentation? Thank you very much. Well, I don't know anything about health. Uh, I'm working for an insurance company, and I don't know anything about insurance, and I'm not a Catholic. Uh, but... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> the Catholic Broadcasting uh, Organization is also, has always been very um, uh, um, easy about that. So I think they have the most non-Catholic presenters and uh, journalists working for them. Uh, since I have a journalistic uh, um, background, I'm going to show you a film in a couple of minutes. Um, I work for Achmea, which is the largest uh, insurance company of the Netherlands. You also are allowed to say Achmea. <clears throat> Our international name will change in uh, Achmea, Achmea uh, starting from January 2012, so you might already try to pronounce this very difficult word. Uh, Achmea is a non-listed uh, insurance company based on uh, the cooperative uh, insurer, insurer uh, tradition already um, um, explained by the former speaker. Um, Microinsurance programs uh, the supporting of microinsurance is a part of our CSR program. And why? Because we believe in uh, what is called collective action. I think I'm going to tell you a story about collective action. Um, we support microinsurance programs with uh, knowledge, not maybe not yet with money. We don't invest, we don't have our own insurance companies or uh, mutual companies in uh, other countries. Uh, uh, as far as we uh, are active now, we support with all kinds of knowledge, like, um, uh, well, with figures, actuarial, actuarial uh, uh, knowledge, uh, but also business development, marketing, um, uh, finance, whatever. Um, and also we provide training programs. Um, as I told you, I'm not an insurance expert, so uh, I'm, I don't master all the, the technical uh, uh, details. So if you have any technical questions, I try to answer them, but uh, not now uh, uh, and not immediately, I'm afraid. Do I do this now? No. <laughs> okay. Wait a minute. Okay, yes, you're still on. And then this is mine, yes. Okay, and now... <laughs> Oh, it's, I'm searching for a full screen. I don't have my glasses, which is not very... <laughs> this the one? Okay. Well, um, I'm not going to read this all aloud because you can read it by yourself, but uh, I think it's, uh, um, um, it's quite a problem that uh, two and a half billion uh, people don't have any access to insurance because insurance... Um, yeah, we are insured, as Professor van der Graag already uh, told us this morning, we are insured for almost everything we can think of and even insured for things we don't think of. Uh, so it's normal for us, but insurance is not normal for many people, uh, despite the fact that insurance um, is uh, very important for your uh, economic continuity. 
uh, some uh, countries, some languages don't even have a word for, the, uh, for insurance. Um, and we think that microinsurance uh, can help poor people manage uh, economic hardships like flooding, draft, hospitalization, death, whatever. Um, this is um, 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 a map from 2007. I don't think it's changed much in the last four years, so we still use this one. Um, well, many people don't have any uh, insurance or micro-insurance in coverage at all, so there's a lot of work to do for us as insurance companies, I think, at least to help other people. Um, I'm going to tell you something about the dance experience. Um, and I think it's, it's really a kind of uh, example of the story of, uh, of Tine. Uh, and it might give an answer to, uh, to some of your question, questions. Dan is an um, uh, NGO in India, um, a very um, big one and a very successful one. Um, they are a kind of mental leader in microfinance and microinsurance uh, solutions. And they also uh, uh, won the NGO award of 2009 as the best NGO. Um, we, as Achmea, are uh, since 2002, I think, it might have started in 2001, um, uh, connected to the Dan Foundation. And officially, since 2004, we support them with all kinds of help with the microinsurance. Um, I'm going to tell you some more details, but I think now it's time to just look at uh, a small film of 10 minutes. Uh, I think the film says more than uh, many words can do. Madurai, in the south of India, Tamil Nadu province. A way of life which is hard to imagine for Westerners. Tough in any case, as soon as something happens to you. Women suffer the most, by far. At the same time, community spirit is strong, especially in rural areas. That community spirit is the key to the success of Dan, an Indian initiative undertaken by the people to protect themselves against calamity. It's founded on a philosophy of giving back to the society, to work with the poor. Those people have really come together and founded this. Dan achieves this with four different types of insurance. Life insurance, health insurance, livestock insurance, and crop insurance. The idea behind these types of insurance started this way the so-called Kalanjan, a large pot positioned in the center of almost every village, where rice is collected to be given to any villager who is in need. Traditionally, women hold back a handful of rice during the preparation of the daily meal. This rice is collected in the Kalanjan in case a member of the community gets into trouble. It is that concept, the Kalanjan, that forms the basis of the insurance system in Dan. Women organize themselves in groups, called Kalanjan, after the large emergency rice pot. Members of Kalanjans put in money and determine the conditions for payment. There are now more than a million people insured by Dan. Kanan was hit while on his scooter. He was brought to the council hospital immediately. To his mother's frustration, nothing happened for three hours. In the end, Kanan's mother decided to take him away from there. Because the family is insured by Dan, 
Kanan could be taken to the Dan Suham hospital. நம்ம வந்து கொண்டு போயிருவோம்னு சொல்லிட்டு நம்ம ஹாஸ்பிட்டலுக்கு கொண்டு வந்தோடனே ட்ரீட்மெண்ட் எடுத்து நல்ல புண்ணெல்லாம் பாரி நல்லா இருக்கா மேடம் The hospital has 60 beds. In the hospital, we also meet Mrs. Chinnapalai. She has become a symbol for the emancipation of women in this part of India. She is visiting patients in the hospital. We go with Chinnapalai to a rural area. Here she fights for the rights of the poor. அது வந்து முதல்ல வந்து நம்மளுக்கு எந்த விதமான பிணிப்பிட்டு கிடையாது முதல்ல இப்போ இந்த இந்த இன்ஜினஸ் வந்து மக்களுக்கு நல்ல முதல்ல பணக்காரர்களுக்கு தான் அந்த இன்ஜினஸ் இருந்துச்சு அந்த புர் ஆஃபன் நீட் இட் மோஸ்ட் Mrs. Potter Jamal is blind. Her husband was a coolie. They fetched and carried their entire lives. They have been together so long that Mrs. Potter Jamal doesn't even remember how long. One night her husband died suddenly. Enna nenikira na engala uttittu poyitaanga naanga eppadi saapidradhu inga pillai vachi eppadi polga ottradhu. But the old couple was insured. and Mrs Potter Jamal received compensation of 10000 rupees she was now able to plan her future <laughs> to outsiders the way of life in india appears unusually chaotic and disconnected but in fact it is better structured than it seems tradition and religion give direction to society 80% of the population is Hindu. Their belief gives a great deal of direction. For example, at this ritual, Hindu gods are worshiped, a so-called mahasabha. These gatherings are held regularly, particularly amongst women. It is this framework that is used by Dan to pass on information about insurance. Special buses travel around these workplaces. They attract a lot of attention especially in rural areas. Don commissioned a Bollywood film in which the main characters experienced adventures which made them face up to their responsibilities. Only two actors are in reality Bollywood stars. The rest of the cast is made up of people from the target audience who play themselves. The movie has been a great success. This is how Don is working on the organization and emancipation of the poor of movement which is inspired by Mahatma Gandhi's philosophy. So here the banking branches are all over the country but they are not reaching to the poor. So the financial inclusion is so weak in India though banking infrastructure is there our thing is to really create a kind of intermediary or a basic structure all kinds of people will organize them and link them to the mainstream supply system so that they get a entitlement of their access to the credit and also using that this is a really a big revolution it has brought many i would say 100000s of people out of poverty don helps its people through development but it also protects them from setbacks setbacks which would have major consequences especially for the poor how to safeguard these people from these risk and vulnerabilities that is only through insurance ureko armeya helps don financially by reinsuring but mainly by know how the knowledge especially in terms of uh, product design because we were not having any knowledge of how to have your product pricing so how to build the safety net funds how to make the program sustainable so we will have to make the reserves for making future claims all these things were the knowledge we have able to have it because of ereko academy foundation and ereko research efforts mm-hmm.
Representatives from Ahmeya visit Dan regularly, with the main aim of sharing knowledge about insurance, but also to help with implementation, through ICT for instance. After a death, cremation is a very important aspect of Indian culture, and so the burial insurance is very important. In addition, there is health insurance, crop insurance, and stock insurance. How vulnerable can your most valued possession be? Mrs. Jaya's fate was totally unforeseeable. She and her husband owned five cows. She was always with the animals. They decided to insure them. For the next two years, everything was fine. Then something happened, which is very common among people who are unfamiliar with the concept of insurance. She started to have doubts. Penny is another word or so, and the young lady may say that I have a marker, add marker, I didn't mean I have. We are typing a liar in the upper. I didn't get a stop and eat up dinner now and then we cut a soline. In the end, the couple decided to insure only one cow. Now Jaya regrets this decision because not long after, disaster struck. While Jaya was with them on the land, three cows were bitten by a snake. Before she realized what had happened, the first one died. Moments later, the second one fell over right in front of her. Nothing helped. The second cow died, and so did the third. Hard as it seems, her misfortune is a warning to others. More and more neighbors now insure their cows and goats. Before an animal can be insured, it must be approved by Dan. There are hardly any cases of moral risk. The organization says that is because there is a close business and social relationship between the insured and the insurer, as they usually live in the same village. We are the only uh, organization in India doing livestock insurance on mutual basis. So the community base is very much important. Without a strong community base, this mutual li livestock insurance is not at all possible. So the, it's working on mutual trust basis. So community, we believe community, community believe Dawn Foundation. It's all based on community spirit. The Kalanjans, the women's groups, named after the emergency rice pot. This is how women organize themselves in India. In the end, Mrs. Jaya was paid 10,000 rupee compensation for her cow. By working hard, she has now bought two new calves. From now on, they will be well insured. She has no doubt about that. Well, I still have some slides, but maybe you have already some questions uh, uh, because of the film. Um, we can do it now. Maybe I give you some more details about our uh, about the program. Shall I, sh shall I finish the presentation, Chair? Yeah. How many minutes do I still have? Two minutes. Two minutes. Okay. Well, then I will. I, I, <laughs> <yeah>, no problem. <laughs> important, I think, is that the vulnerability of the community is guiding for the product design. Uh, so tailor-made solutions uh, belong to that. Um, and uh, you saw the bus, um, um, uh, uh, and it goes with the last bullet. Insurance literacy programs uh, are very important to, 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 to make clear what the concept of insurance uh, is, even uh, in this case when it really fits the, 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 the culture of the community. Um, well, I skip this one, I uh, skip this one too, uh, but this is something about the health uh, insurance. 
Um, there are four insurances. Life, it all started with burial and life insurance. Then there was uh, livestock and crop insurance. And later on, there was also this health uh, insurance program, which is only in, um, uh, in 16 federations. Federations are like villages. Uh, and why only in, uh, uh, in those uh, 16 federations? Because there are only two hospitals. Um, and the insurance, the health insurance is linked to the hospital and if you don't have the money to, uh, 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 to fund the hospital then there is no, there, there is no, no basis for the uh, health uh, insurance program. Uh, the two hospitals are uh, funded by uh, private donations, uh, uh, among, uh, among which uh, our own uh, foundation of Achmea, but not only uh, our money was uh, concerned. Um, and all the other things of the hospital, like the, 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 the doctors, the nurses, uh, the, the medicines, the bandage material, whatever, is covered by the premiums the people pay. And, and when there is an opportunity to get a health insurance, Everybody takes one. Uh, it, there are no free riders. Uh, uh, almost, almost everybody uh, takes the health uh, insurance, and it's very affordable. It's um, about 200 rupees per person per year. Uh, and to give you an idea, the families are uh, um, average five people, uh, and in this specific area, you can earn at most 100 rupees a day, but you don't have. Uh, uh, you don't have uh, work every day of the year, so. Uh, but it's it's still affordable for them, and they have this health insurance uh, uh, in in many cases combined with the livestock and the crop and the life insurance. So it's a proof uh, of the concept that poor people uh, really understand that uh, if you save some money or you share the risk. Um, um, uh, uh, um, you organize the solidarity, you can, you, you, you can gain by it for yourself. Um, well, I think this is uh, the most important information I wanted to, I would like to share with you. And, well, if you have any questions, just try me. Thank you very much, Lisbeth, for the very educative presentation and the film. We do have a few minutes for questions and comments. I don't know. Questions? Yeah. Um, um, yeah, I just wondered, to what extent are these um, insurances, the different types of insurances linked to each other? Is it normal to get health insurance? And I'm thinking of my own insurance package. You get a deal on it if you have take all of them. Is that the case as well? No, it, uh, it is not the case, but uh, well, I, I, maybe I could show you one slide uh, um, uh, of a federation where there is no health insurance, but where, you, uh, where there is evidence that after a couple of years of this insurance, uh, the community uh, gains prosperity. Uh, people, the children can go to school, uh, the women have more liberties, and well, uh, uh, their, their income uh, is, I think, like uh, two times uh, uh, as much as it was five years ago. Um, so it is, I think, an idea to, when you start over again, to combine it and, uh, and make it a, a package deal. Um, uh, it, it proves to be good for the people. But it's not the case in, uh, in, uh, in India yet. My name is Willem van der Putten of HealthNet TPO. Um, thank you for the presentation. I would just like to ask if you could elaborate a little bit on the advantage or disadvantage of the cooperative model as compared to non-cooperative models. <coughs> Um, well, I think the advantage is <laughs> that, you know, uh, these are poor people um, and, uh, well, they have one thing in common, uh, that they're all, they're, they're all poor and they cannot do it on their own. So, uh, and they, in this specific, specific uh, uh, situation in India where there is a strong community, uh, the people are used to take care of each other. You saw it with the with, with the hand of rice. So it's it's already a a, a, co a cooperative concept. 
And if you see that if your neighbor is something, uh, well, loses a cow or is, is getting ill and he's, uh, he, he, he or she doesn't have to pay uh, from the pocket but can show a card, it really helps you, um, then you, you experience that solidarity uh, is not only about, well, being nice for each other, but it's, uh, I, I can't translate it, uh, uh, it's well begrepen eigen belang. Can you help me with that? <laughs> yeah, okay. Uh, so I think uh, it's, it's and, and because the people, you know, uh, they own their own hospital. Uh, the hospital is owned by the, org by the organization. Um, so there is no profit uh, 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 in this case. There's no state. The state is not interested in the poor people in India. So it's, they do it by themselves. And I think one of the advantages, which is not economic, uh, but I think very important, is it gives them uh, pride. Uh, we can do it by ourselves. As you know, because we, uh, I, I skipped that from my presentation, but we have a couple of other projects, uh, one of them in Cambodia with uh, HealthNet TPO, uh, uh, which is also a health insurance program based on a cooperative insurer. Yeah, very, very nice uh, movie uh, highlighting some of the advantages of, uh, of this microinsurance. Uh, there's quite a lot of experience in this now over the last 20 years, and I think it's been pretty well proven that these programs are very good at mobilizing people at the local level and creating the social capital that's needed to uh, get people to contribute to the schemes. But there's two or three things that's also been discovered that are kind of negative things, and I just wonder what your experience has been so far. The first one is that these are usually very poor people, and so the amount of money you can actually mobilize through community action is very small and actually doesn't normally cover anything beyond basic care. So even things like, for instance, bed nets or simple things like malaria pills often outstrips the amount of money that would be part of the package. And then the second thing is uh, it depends very heavily on local social capital. And so when you try to scale up, uh, the will to actually contribute to a larger pool disappears because the communities trust each other within the community but as soon as, you make, uh, as soon as you make the pool larger than the community, very often the, uh, the contributors won't contribute to the larger pools because they just don't trust the larger pool. And then the final thing is, was the issue that came up this morning. If you have these programs, uh, having the pool doesn't help unless you have services. So if this happens to be in a village where there really are no providers or there's no clinics or anything like that, uh, then that becomes a problem because you know you have coverage but you don't have services. So I just wonder if you have any, uh, any experience in those three areas. Uh, well, there are three questions. I'll try to, uh, uh, to answer all of them. Um, exactly because you need hospitals uh, uh, and without a hospital uh, uh, you, you, there's no, there is no basis for this insurance. Uh, the health insurance uh, experience in, with Dan is only in those 16 uh, federations which are in the vicinity of a, an own Dan hospital. Um, so you're right, if there's nothing, uh, if there's no uh, supply, then you cannot uh, uh, do anything with insurance because people uh, pay and they get nothing. Um, so I agree on that and I think the issue of um, of this hospital uh, hospitals is very important because you know they could only be funded um, um, uh, with the help of donor fun funds uh, as a kickoff but if you see that the communities that um, uh, use these insurance programs for a couple of years uh, uh, are more prosperous uh, there's also a case that in in, in, in the going of the years, they do have the money to, to raise their own hospitals and also to fund their own hospitals with the premiums, which is now not the case because the premiums only cover for the, uh, well, the operational costs. Um, it's not the case that there's only basic coverage. Um, um, uh, in the beginning, uh, we have been very prudent because we didn't know uh, well what the demand would be. But now, every year, uh, the coverage is um, is is uh, increasing. Even HIV uh, is covered by the uh, uh, insurance of uh, uh, those particular two um, uh, cases. 
and uh, also uh, complex uh, um, um, uh, health care that cannot be provided in those two hospitals uh, is provided within the cover of this insurance uh, in private hospitals. There are arrangements with private hospitals in the vicinity, uh, although there is a cap. So if you have a, a one large surgery, uh, uh, it's covered. If you, have, you need two, uh, well, there's a problem because there's a cap, I think, on 35,000 rupees. Don't ask me uh, what you can buy for that. But it, it's the, 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 the insurance uh, uh, gives you quite uh, uh, a reasonable cover, not only for the basic things. And yes, malaria pills are available. Um, and about the risk pool, um, uh, you are right and you are not right. Because, you know, you need, you, the, the scaling up, I think, is needed uh, uh, to have a healthy risk pool. Um, so um, I think it's it's a good thing if you can scale up, but you have to you have to keep in touch with the original cooperative. So if you are able to give the people that have that live in those federations, in the case of Dan, are part of the community and still uh, are and are going to be part of the community, even if your uh, mutual is part of a bigger uh, concept. Um, I don't think there's a problem there. You know, we, we do have in the Netherlands, uh, for instance, which is not an insurance company, but the Rabobank. Uh, uh, people are members of the Rabobank, but they are always a member of their own small Rabobank, uh, which is a cooperative of its own. And they can align <coughs> to that cooperative, and they can align to the, to, to the cooperative, or the organization of all the um, cooperatives. So I think... Uh, 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 it's not automatically the case, but you can. Uh, I think you can tell this story uh, and 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 make people believe it because uh, it is a believable story. And and yes, you make the risk pool bigger, uh, so it would be an opportunity. I think. Once again, I would like to thank Thine and uh, Lisbeth for their presentation and the audience for being so cooperative and collective. Uh, this brings to an end this session. Thank you.